Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is episode two of Croptober. Today's video is all about those hearty, meaty crop pot meals that require very minimum effort. And if you're anything like me, that's my favorite type of meal. So come along with me and let's get cooking. This turkey goulash is so easy to make and it's bursting with flavor. For our veggies, we have half of an onion, one red bell pepper, one green pepper, and two carrots. To a hot skillet, add a tablespoon of olive oil and cook down two cloves of garlic and the onion until it is fragrant. Add in one pound of ground turkey. Now you could definitely use the traditional hamburger meat, but I use the ground turkey because that's what I had on hand. Once finished, just strain this and add it to the crock pot. Add in your vegetables followed by one diced can of tomatoes. This is just a regular petite diced tomato and tomato paste. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and for our seasonings, we are using Italian seasoning, garlic salt, crushed red pepper, salt and pepper just to taste. Now if you don't like the heat, you could definitely omit the crushed red pepper, but I love the flavor that it gave to this. It was just a very subtle kick of spice. Mix this together so the meat isn't stuck to the bottom. We're going to cook this on low for two hours and then pour in two cups of beef broth. Now we will be adding in two cups of pasta. Now you can cook it in your crock pot, but I went ahead and cooked it separately because Blair was going to have some of the noodles for dinner too. So just mix this together and let it cook maybe for about five minutes or so just so that everything can combine and this is ready to serve. These smothered pork chops are for my freezer video. I'll link down below. So just dump the bag into the crock pot and cook on low for four to six hours. So I will say this is a strange one. The flavors were so good and the pork chop was so tender we could cut it with our forks, but it did dry out. So keep an eye on your cooking time. My husband said this reminded him of Thanksgiving dinner and I could not agree more. We served this up with mashed potatoes and a cream cheese jalapeno corn, which was amazing. I'll have that recipe coming up for y'all soon. This hamburger pasta gave me all the vibes of a hamburger helper, but elevated. We're gonna cook down one pound of hamburger meat. You could definitely substitute this for breakfast sausage or even the hot Italian sausage. I feel like that would give it a nice kick. Add this to your crock pot, and then we are gonna follow this up by two and a half cups of beef broth. For our canned items, I have two cans of diced tomatoes. These are just the regular Kroger brand diced tomatoes, nothing special. And then add in one fourth cup of onions and two minced garlics. You could definitely add in more onion, more garlic, whatever flavor that you want this to have. You could definitely add in some more. This would also be good with maybe some diced carrots. I feel like that would elevate it just a little bit more and get your veggie count in. So just pour in your favorite can of marinara sauce and we are just going to give this a good stir so nothing is stuck to the bottom. For our seasonings, I have crushed red pepper, Italian seasoning, garlic salt, and pepper and salt just to taste. I would definitely add in some more crushed red pepper if it was just me because I do like the flavor that the crushed red pepper gives to it. So I did add some to my bowl, but I didn't want this to be too spicy in case Blair was going to try it or if you have kids too. So just stir this and we are going to cook this on low for seven hours. With 30 minutes left, we are gonna add in one box of pasta. I'm using the penne pasta, but you could use whatever pasta you would like. We're gonna cook this for at least 30 minutes. That was the time that they cooked for me and it was perfect. My house smelled so good. This was so flavorful. I just topped mine with some mozzarella and I had enough for leftovers. Look how delicious this looks. You could definitely serve this with some green beans or a side salad, whatever your family prefers. This Cajun sausage and potatoes was so flavorful. For my sausage, I'm using one link of the jalapeno sausage. I picked this up at Kroger. Somebody please tell me why I decided to use the smallest knife possible to cut this. I'm not exactly sure. But next we are going to cut up three potatoes. You could definitely add some more. If you're gonna double this batch, then do six and do two links of jalapeno sausage. But this was perfect because it was just shot in and not eating this. So we are gonna add our sausage and potatoes to the crock pot. 
then add in half of an onion this is going to cook down with one can of chicken broth followed by one can of hot rotel you could definitely just use the mild rotel if you don't want it to be too spicy because we are going to be adding in a decent amount of tonies so for the seasonings i have italian seasoning garlic powder ranch seasoning and the tony's bold seasoning if you haven't tried out the tony's bold seasoning you have to it is so flavorful and delicious it is my favorite seasoning besides the ranch seasoning because y'all know I use that ranch probably too much. You're just going to cover this and cook on low for six to eight hours or high for three to four hours. It was enough just for Sheldon and I. So again, if you have a bigger family, definitely double this recipe. In case you've missed any of Croptober, I've put everything together for you in a playlist right here. So check that one out next. And I will catch you guys in next Sunday's video for episode three of our fall inspired dishes. Bye.